welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will talk about Fundamentals of Concrete Aggregates and paste are the main ingredients of concrete. As the paste solidifies, as a result of the chemical interaction between the Portland cement and water, it binds the aggregates, often sand and gravel or crushed stone, into a mass resembling rock. Engineers are directly responsible for the design of the mix and the final quality of the concrete. And these are the factors that can affect the quality of the concrete. The amount of water used in relation to the amount of cement, for any particular set of components and curing circumstances, has a significant impact on the quality of hardened concrete. Following are some advantages of reducing water content. Now, let's talk about the the first stage. Freshly mix concrete. Mixing. Usually start with 10% of the water in the mixer, then solids with 80% of the water, and then mix in the remaining 10% of the water. And this is the process of mixture on a larger scale. Workability It is a freshly mixed concrete's ease of placement, consolidation, and finishing as well as how well it resists segregation. Workability is measured by the standard procedure of slump test. I made a video for this, please check this out. Bleeding in Settlement Bleeding refers to the formation of a layer of water on top or near the surface in freshly put concrete. It results from the deposition, settlement, of solid particles, such as cement and aggregate, and the concurrent upward migration of water. While settlement is the decrease in height from time of placement to initial set. After evaporation of all bleed water, the hardened surface will be slightly lower than the freshly placed surface. Sun bleeding is helpful to control plastic shrinkage cracking. While excessive bleeding may result a weak top layer with poor durability. Consolidation In freshly mixed concrete, vibration causes the particles to move, lowering the amount of friction that exists between them and giving the mixture the characteristics of a thick fluid. Consolidation of coarser as well as stiffer mixtures results in improved quality and economy. On the other hand, poor consolidation can result in porous, weak concrete with poor durability. Hydration It is the chemical reaction between the cement and the water in Portland cement paste gives it its binding properties. The two calcium silicates react with water to form two new compounds, calcium hydroxide and calcium silicate hydrate. The engineering properties of concrete depend primarily on calcium silicate hydrate. It is the heart of concrete. And these are the factors that influence the rate of hydration. Now, let's move on the second stage. Hardened concrete. Curing. Concrete does not harden or cure by drying. Concrete needs moisture to hydrate and harden. Maintain moisture and temperature in the concrete to promote continued hydration and strength gain. Curing affects the following. Durability, strength, water tightness, abrasion resistance, volumetric stability, resistance to freezing and thawing, and resistance to de-icing, chemicals. Strength Compressive strength may be defined as the measured maximum resistance of a concrete specimen to axial loading. It is generally expressed in megapascals, MPA, or pounds per square inch, PSI, at an age of 28 days. 
7 day strengths are often estimated to be about 75% of the 28 day strength, while 56 day and 90 day strengths are about 10% to 15% greater than 28 day strengths. Permeability and Water Tightness Permeability is defined as the concrete's capacity to withstand water or other substances penetrating it, or the amount of water that migrates through it when water is under pressure. While water tightness is the the ability of concrete to hold back or retain water without visible leakage. Concrete used in water retaining structures or exposed to weather or other severe exposure conditions must be virtually impermeable or watertight. Abrasion resistance. Abrasion resistance is the ability of concrete surface to withstand the wear and tear of friction caused by mechanical parts and instances of repetitive scraping or rubbing. Strong concrete has more resistance to abrasion than does weak concrete, and hard aggregate is more wear resistant than soft aggregate. Volume stability and crack control. Hardened concrete changes volume due to changes in temperature, moisture, and stress. These are the effects of an early volume change. Plastic shrinkage, drying shrinkage, slight swelling and curling. Concrete under sustained load will deform elastically called, creep. Durability. It is the ability of concrete to resist weathering action, chemical attack, and abrasion while maintaining its desired engineering properties. And these are the factors that have great impact on the, the durability of a concrete. Generally, the concrete ingredients, proportioning of those ingredients, interactions between the ingredients and placing and curing practices determine the ultimate durability and life of the concrete. That's all for now, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and comment down below I am glad to hear from you. Stay tuned for my next video.